morning, brothers and sisters in the Lord. As Christians, we ought to live like Christ. And when we talk about practical instructions on Christian living, we can find a lot of it from Hebrews chapter 13. Now, when we talk about following Christ, some of us might have a person that we look up to when it comes to following Jesus Christ. People who sets an example for others to follow Christ. So, who do you look up to? Our devotion for today is in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 17 and it says, Have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority because they keep watch over you as though who must give an account. Do this so that their work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of no benefit to you. We ought to look for the example of more recent spiritual leaders in living a Christ-like life. Paul gave a list of God's people that were considered as heroes of faith in Hebrews chapter 11, like Abel, Enoch, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, and more. And they were all commended for their faith. In verse 7, it says, Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Our spiritual leaders weren't chosen by men. They were appointed by God. And by that, we know that they are held to a high standards by God. James 3 verse 1 states that they will be held more accountable by God. We only see the outcome of their long-time preparation of soaking in the presence of God through services. We only hear their sermon during Sunday services. We only hear their testimony when they are sharing, but we never know how they truly feel whenever they grieve for the church. A true spiritual leader loves the church as much as Jesus loves his bride. And the lesson here is that we, as part of the church, we are to submit to them. Let us obey them as we would obey Christ like it says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5. Let's not grieve their heart by living a life of humility and obedience. In Filipino, wag na tayong dumagdag sa sakit ng ulo nila. Let us love our spiritual leaders as we love God. After all, they are the ones who keep on praying for you even if you don't know. They are the ones who intercedes with God whenever you sin just like what Moses did for the Israelites. So brothers and sisters, love your pastor, your elder, your spiritual leader. Because that's what living a Christ-like life truly means. Have a blessed day ahead, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ.